Hello, Rockers and Mercuryans. Rock Mercury here, and welcome to the Rock Mercury Podcast, where, Mar- where Mercury re- retrogrades on your man's face. Mercury retrograding on your man's face. Mercury retrograding on your man's face. Um, today I have some breakfast tacos. Breakfast tacos. I cooked the tacos with some cheese in them, vegan cheese. So I'm gonna put the like top like this is the internal bar. This is like the tofu scramble. That's the avocado, of course, and that's like some vegan sausage stuff. It's it's beyond meat. But, uh, it'll do, it'll do. Um, it's not my favorite brand. You guys know I'm not the biggest the brand of that favorite brand, but you know, it's gonna be cute. I'm wearing my shirt today, my Brooklyn shirt that I got from Ross. I'm so glad I got it. It is really cute to me. Like I think it's like. It's a vibe. Like, it's definitely a vibe, and I'm here for it. Um, December issues in the house. Does Rock, I sent you a gift from your wish from your wish list. Oh, you sent me a gift from my wish list. Thank you so much. Oh, my goodness. Oh, you're so kind. Thank you so much. I'll let you know when it comes in, and I'll open it up for you. Um, thank you so much. That's so sweet. I have to update that list. I appreciate it. I wonder what you sent. <laughs> um, okay, so... I am going to be eating this. It's, um, you have to check your Rock Mercury email to approve. Ooh, I got to check my email. Okay, y'all. Let me see if I can do that right now from the side. Um, I don't know if I have, I don't know how to approve for that. It didn't say any approval on here. It might be in my other email. Let me check my other email real quick. Because I have multiple emails. Let me just check it, check it, check it. Oh, y'all, I'm so excited to eat this food. It's going to be delicious. Notification of product. Yeah, I don't see it right now. I'm going to keep checking, but I don't see any email right now. So I will, I'm sure it'll probably come up um, soon. But I'll keep an eye on it. But thank you so much for the thought and for, um, for, for that sweet gift. That's so sweet of you. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. I don't know. It made, made me so happy. Um, okay, so let's eat these tacos and let's chat about whatever we're going to chat about because it's a good day. Um, I'm having some bubbly, some cherry bubbly today for my drink with my breakfast tacos. I already had a big old pancake, but I flipped it myself. Like we had some waffle batter left over, so I decided like I'm just going to flip this, put it in, I put it in like a, like a kind of a regular size, smaller, like a smaller medium sized pan. And it filled the whole pan up. And then flipping it was a work of art. I had to really figure out how to flip it at the right angle. Um, but I did it and it was good. It just wasn't pretty. So I decided to eat that privately. Mm. Cherry, cherry, cherry. That lunch looks so good. This is supposed to be breakfast, y'all. I know it's noon. It's noon. So this is giving brunch. It's giving brunch. There's some cheese in here. Um... He yeah, is giving definitely brunch five breakfast tacos. Um, I put my nephew to sleep, and and I was like, let me eat now. It's time to eat. Time for me to grab on down, grab on down. Um, I'm making a lot of um of good pacing with all the videos I'm uploading. Right now, I'm still on LinkedIn, uploading everything. Y'all, I'm on every platform, and my Rumble is going well now. People are people are following my my Rumble account, so you know. Shoot, I have all my bases covered in case somebody wants to get me blocked and banned. But I did speak about it for a second, but I do want to say one more time, um, congratulations to, you know, our former president. I won't say his name. Cause it, like, let's see if this, let's see if the little thing goes up. It might, it might show the election thing. Oh, I said the word. Dang it, I shouldn't say any word. But anyway, you know, let's see. Let's see. You guys look at this bottom part right here. Let's see if I say congratulations to Trump, to President Trump, for getting his Twitter back. And congratulations to Andrew Tate for getting his Twitter back as well. They got their Twitters unrestricted. Let's see if the good old election reminder comes up, comes down there again like it did last time. There it goes. There it goes. Y'all saw it. It came right up. Learn more about U.S. midterm election. You see? And when you click it, it's from, it's from the 8th. It is from um, November 8th. So there it is over here trying to censor the heck out of people for the same word. That, that was proof right there. That was proof. If there's no other proof you need, there you go. Corruption. 
corruption over here talking about midterm elections. We're talking about Twitter right now, you know, so why are they over here? Anyway, whatever, I don't care, but I'm just, I thought it would be funny to trigger that thing, you know, shoot. Um, hold on, let's see. Um, December issue says, did your sister discover the rest of the jackfruit, LOL? She did. I told her that I had to put it back in there, but I bagged it two, three times. I bagged that three times at least, so it shouldn't smell like anything in the fridge. And I need to, I'm going to go into that jackfruit on my next live. I'm going to pick all the jackfruit out, and then I'm going to cut it up and put it, saute with some onions or something. That's going to be the whole live, me preparing the rest of the jackfruit, because I don't want to eat the rest of it raw. I do kind of want to, but I figure I may not have a jackfruit for a while because it's so much work. Um, so I'm just going to like see if I can cook the rest of it for you guys to see what it looks like to cook it. Um, the December issue says, "Yep, there it is. I can't, can't. I'm telling you, December issue. They are really trying to play games. They were trying to play games, y'all. Okay, let's eat this taco. Mmm. Mmm. That's pretty good. Mm. Pretty pretty good." You know, I'm with that. <laughs> I, should, I, I should eat like that girl does. You know that one girl on TikTok? She's like, I haven't had tacos in a while, guys. Mmm. Love it. Mmm. You know, you know that girl? She's hilarious. I don't want to talk about it too badly because I think she has some kind of situation going on health-wise. So I don't want to diss her too much. But she is hilarious. Um, December issue says, yeah, she ghost eats, lol. I couldn't with her. But I went to her page and she does eat certain foods. So I'm like, why is she ghost eating on some of these videos? Like, how dare she? How dare she? It's the way she ghost eats, too. Because she really be trying to act like as if she's eating, but not really well. Like, she doesn't... I don't... I just don't get it. I'm so confused. I really would love to just ask her, is it a gimmick? Was it... Was it supposed to be a gimmick that she ghost eats? Is that her thing? Is that her, like, I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm genuinely curious. I know some people, some of you guys hate this bubbly, but it tastes so good to me. It tastes so tasty. It tastes like a, like a healthy Dr. Pepper. That doesn't make any sense, because it's not giving Dr. Pepper flavor. Maybe because the color looks, not, I'm, I'm a mess. That made no sense. It does not taste like Dr. Pepper. I don't know what I'm thinking to say that. It's, like, not even any sugar in this. Whatever, 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 whatever. Um, thank you to my subscribers for subscribing on here. If you guys want to chat with me on the chat, please subscribe. But don't feel too bad if you don't have any money. You're like, Rock Mercury, I'm broke. I'm broke AF, but I'm still a rocker in Mercury. And, um, and I really want to connect with you still. Guess what you can do? You can go to my post on my TikTok and you can comment. Like and comment. And I will respond to you. I respond to everybody who messages me in my comments. Um, it takes a little longer to respond. I may, I mean, sometimes, sometimes if I'm on TikTok, I'll, I'll respond right away, but I'm, I always respond to everyone who messages me on my comments. So you can message me there, but if you want to message me on here, you got to be a subscriber because I'm not doing that game with y'all no more. Reading a billion comments from people who, some of them are trolls. Not all of them, because some of them are great people, but some of them are trolls. Mm. December issue says, it's so quiet in these comments. I'm at peace. Me too. I love it so much. Y'all. I love the peace. I love the peace. I ain't going back. I ain't going back at all. Um. So, sorry y'all. Sorry to that man. I don't know him. <laughs> Y'all, my passport came in. My passport came in the mail. So, I'm set for a second. Like, my my ID's expired, but that's coming in the mail too. But right now, I have my passport, and I'm just happy. Because now, ain't nothing can happen to me no more. I can still travel. I can still do what I need to do. I'm back on my other streaming platform that literally cut me off. Because they're like, your password expired, so you can't go on and make any money anymore. I'm like, but what about my monies? What about all these years? Like, you knew I'm of age. Like, why are you guys not trying to let me get my money? 
Anyway, whatever. I'm back. A popular demand. Um. So, since the election thing's already up, I'm not like talk, keep talking about what I was talking about. And I'm just happy for Trump and for Tate and to Tate. They should have never been banned in the first place at, at all. Today, Kanye West also commented. He made a tweet and he said, "Checking, testing, testing, just seeing if my Twitter block is, is still active or whatever. I said, dang it, they're just silencing so many people. Like, we're, are we getting used to silencing? Are we getting used to the censorship? You know, certain countries that own this app on right now, they're way used to censorship. But we're supposed to be America, land of the free and the brave. It's not seeming that free right now. It's not giving freedom. <laughs> it's not giving freedom, honey. It's giving oppression, disgrace. Um, but anything but free, anything but freedom is giving. So, I'm frustrated, but I'm also like, whatever at this point. I'm so over it. Um, I used to want a place where I could just speak my mind. Now I finally realize that this is a place to make this money. This is not a place to speak your mind. Speak your mind in your own home. You know, these apps are owned and the commercial ran. These are industry-ran apps. If the advertisers aren't happy, ain't nobody happy. And I have to accept that and be okay with that. Um, because why not be okay with it? Like, this is a free app. I didn't pay money to have to go in here with you guys. You know? I did it, not a dime. Pay my time. It's what it is. I also realized that I didn't create this app. And even if I did create this app, at the point that it got as popular as this app is, government intervention is un unblockable. Once you have this much social power, as this app does, there's no way to stop government intervention. It's going to happen. In fact, if, in order to get to this space at all, you have to already have a government intervention. So, there's no way to, sit, to shift this. It just is what it is. You gotta play the game or get off the game. You know, and I love Candace Owens. Um, and she always talks about, like, she would never have one of these. She would never come on this app of TikTok. She's not afforded this app at all. She said that she thinks, she thinks that it's for people who are... Um, who are unstable, I'll say. She had other words to say, but I don't, I don't want to say those words. Um, December issue said they still have TikTok BAN <clears throat> in China, LOL. Um, yeah, because they have their own version. They have their own version out there. So, of course, they're going to block people from being on it out there because they don't want their people being negatively... Um, influenced as we are here in America because of this app but whatever it is what it is like it's this is a battle this is a war we are in this war at this point we had the digital war um we're, we're in the middle of it so I'm not really concerned with that at this point like Gary V's talked about Gary Vaynerchuk, who's a media legend, a media icon, speaks about this whole this whole world, this whole life. All the industries are just a big old attention grab. Who can grab the most attention? How many eyes can you get on you, on yourself, for your brand, for your company, whatever you're doing? How many eyes can you get on your on your enterprise? That's all we're playing at this point. So, no matter who is owned by, no matter who, no matter how corrupt it is, all these things, like, can you get enough eyes on your product to shift your life and your world, to build your industry? Can you use evil against itself? 
you know, can you do it? I'm figuring out a way to do that right now. You know, with some sausage. That's what I'm figuring out at the moment. I'm figuring out how do I still continue to build this out, to build my brand out, and to promote my brand on an app that may not be completely for me. You know, like this, they don't support me in that kind of way, but can I still benefit from something that is being synthetically, what's the word, pumped? It's like, it's being pushed out at a higher level than any other app. It's, um, it's like media steroided at this point. So, that's where I'm at right now. I'm in that place. I'm just like, okay. I'll play this game. I don't need free speech. We never had it in the first place. If I needed it, then I would already have starved from it or, you know, you've been deprived of it since day one. When have you ever been able to say what you really wanted to say? When have you ever actually been able to to speak your mind? Even in your household, um, if you around other people, it's like there's never really been a time where you could just really say what you felt without the fear of repercussions. Um, even before this cancer culture started, yeah, they may not have caught as many things, but there's certain things you wouldn't say in certain places. And that shows you right there that we never really had that kind of freedom. If you have to watch what you say in certain places, certain times, like, it's just, this all, the game has always been in play. I think for a moment in social media, because there weren't enough moderators or censors, we thought that this was a free era where we could finally have our free speech and say what we feel. We thought that. We thought erroneously. We thought erroneous, erroneously that this whole structure of the internet was going to be some free for all space. Never was, honey. Never actually was that. <laughs> um, never, never was that. There's no such thing as fair in this. They just kept developing it and making it more and more. Like first, they baited us in. I think part, I think they baited us in with that idea that it was a free space and you can be your new self and you can have your basically an avatar of your real life. You know, only show the best parts of your life. So people who are watching your social media, basically your own press release, anytime you post, it's basically a press release at that point. Anyone who's watching it, they think your life is so great. Your life is so this, your life is so that. Oh my gosh. I wish I had Rock Mercury's life. He's living the best life. Look at his beautiful white Brooklyn shirt with his colors. I wish I could wear those colors and be fly like Rock Mercury, but you don't really know that I didn't show you guys what I wore to bed last night. I didn't show you guys what my hair looked like last night. Actually, I think I did. I don't care. But a lot of people wouldn't. A lot of people wouldn't show you them without your makeup and bad lighting. I do all of that because I understand already that being as raw as possible is the only way to win social media in the long run. You can't. You have to be, you have to be real. People are looking for real. There's so much fakeness. They just want something that at least feels real. And even this isn't real. I'm not being real with y'all. The way I talk, the way I like discuss things and what I really want to say, I can't say. I can't speak the way I really want to speak to y'all right now. I can't say what I really, really want to say to y'all. I don't have the freedom to do that. I'll be banned like that. And you guys have seen me get banned before so many times. They said, your name is Toby. <laughs> Your name is Toby. I said, no, I'm Kunta. I'm Kunta. I'm Kunta. I'm Kunta. And they say, your name is Toby. And I was like, I know. No, I'm Kunta. Um, and they banned me so many times. But um, here I am. <laughs> here I am still here feeling very Toby-ish. I'm giving Toby now. I'm serving full Toby. You know, I'm giving Toby at this point because Toby is the only one that's getting paid. <laughs> They ain't trying to write a check to Kunta. Kunta is not... Kunta is... He's not on the payroll. Toby, yes. I see Toby right here on the payroll. But um, no, Kunta. I do not see Kunta. 
I do not see Kunta on this payroll. Is that, do you think I like that? No, I want to be Kunta. But no, I can't be Kunta. They said I got to be Toby. Or they're going to whip me again and take my account away. So here I is. Here I is, eating my breakfast taco, giving you guys the most realness I can be. So the realest thing I can do is at least look the way I look, you know, be free. Thankfully, having long hair isn't illegal. They don't They don't say, you're banned off TikTok because your hair is too long. You know, you're doing this, your fashion is this, you're that. You gotta, you gotta express yourself some way. But I really did think, I was delusioned. I thought that you can have free speech online and you could in the past, a little bit only, but only because there weren't enough censors. But now the technology has caught up. Now they're watching every word I say they're hearing. I just said, I just showed you guys earlier. I said, I just said Trump, like, uh, and the Twitter situation, I just mentioned it. And immediately that thing popped up on the bottom. It says, learn more about the U.S. midterm elections that happened on November 8th, even though it's November 20th right now. Learn more about it. Learn more. We don't want this Kunta over here spe spewing misinformation to you. He's not giving Toby right now. So we're going to let you know. Just learn about these midterm elections, you guys. They couldn't even update it. They couldn't even update it. That's the 8th. It, we, click on it. You got to click on that thing down there. It says the 8th. That is over 10 days ago. Um, December issue says, how was the gym last night? Do you need me to pull up? <laughs> oh, thank you. I did not go to the gym last night. I decided to stay home and play video games and go early this morning at six in the morning. Um, mainly because you know how I look right now. I'm getting moisturized. I have shea butter on. And I was like, you know what? If I go in the morning, I can be fresh and shea buttered and like just giving... Toby Fresh. I can give Toby Fresh in the morning for the whole day. But if I go at nighttime, then I got to sleep in my bed and all my oils are going to get on my pillows. And it's just, ugh, it's a whole situation. So I said, no, I'm going to stay home, play some more video games and go to sleep, which I, which is what I did. Upload some more videos, do some work. Um, but then I went this morning and it was great. I had a great time. We had a great time, you know? Anybody bothered me? Um, I'm starting to... I'm starting to think that the hate crime that happened to me, because it was a hate crime. I think that's what, it, what bothered my soul so much. When that person came at me and attacked me and threatened me in the gym, it was a hate crime. Because he was spewing things that weren't he couldn't even know about me because I literally just met him that day. And I didn't even want to meet him. He just came at me talking mess in the locker room. I don't even know his name still. Um, all I know is that he worked for the feds. Was he hired to follow me? I don't know. I, I would think if he was hired to follow me, he wouldn't be acting the way he did. But the government's weird. He could have been hired. I don't know. Who cares? Um, all I know is that... If the gym doesn't do something about the situation and get him banned, I will be following this as a hate crime with a lawyer. And I'll make some real money then. Cause I don't, I don't appreciate being hate crimed. I don't appreciate that. I don't always deserve that. I'm living my life, just chilling, changing my clothes, and I get attacked. It's like no, 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 no. We're gonna, we're gonna take you to jail. We're going to take you to the furthest extent that the law allows me to take you. That's what we're doing, you know. Um, December issue says, I'm still waiting on the video game stream on Twitch. I did. I went. I went two times already. The first time the audio was messed up because I didn't I had to like download this extra like game capture audio um, adapter, like adapter program. I have to download that and my computer had to restart. So I did that after the first game and now it's perfect. Now you can see that clip here on TikTok. You can watch. It's my. It's like the first video on there right now. So um, you can see it. It's right there. It's live. I'm going to be going live on Twitch. I hope every day. After I get off of here with these tacos, I'm going live on Twitch again because I'm trying to beat this one part. I'm trying to beat this one section. Ah, 
it's so hard, you guys. Like, it, but it's fun to me. It's like a chess game. Like, you have to figure out how to survive this island on the Legend of Zelda, Bridge, um, Breath of the Breath of the Wild. I love Zelda. I love Link and everything. So I'm playing Zelda on Twitch. You have to figure out how to survive this island, but they take away all your inventory from you. All you have is basically your underwear. You're dripping, dripping wet. Nothing. No shoes. No shoes. No nothing. No nothing. Jesus. No nothing. All I have to run for your life across the whole island and try your best to survive against demons that are on there. Actual demons. The last time when I played yesterday, if you, if you see the game, if you see the full version on YouTube, at the end, I'm like, okay, I'm going to try one more time. I'm going to get it this time. I'm, I'm walking through, walking through. I see a chest. I'm going to go open that chest up so I can get some prizes or something, like a treasure chest. What happens? A demon comes out from the bottom of the ground and just and ends me. Game overs me. Game overs me. And I was like, why? Why? I don't have no protection. I don't have a shield. I don't have an arrow, a sword, nothing. Not even a rusty sword do I have in the game. They leave you with nothing. I'm just trying to go into shelter, into the island. And this deceptive treasure chest comes out of nowhere, out of the ground. And the momentum of that it came out. Take my little four hearts away, because I only have four hearts. I need to get, I need to figure out how to get some more hearts, because I only have four. If you guys know the game, you know that the more hearts you have, the, the, the more robust you are, the more you won't be able to get murked as easily. Um, the more durable you are. Mm -mm. K-O. K to the O. It was heartbreaking, but I'm going to try again, and again, and again, <laughs> so I can't promise you that if you go on my Twitch after I get off of here, I can't promise you I'm going to beat the game, or beat that level even, but I can promise you I'm going to have fun, but there's a game, and I'm going to try my best to survive that island. <sighs> I don't, I just... It seems so not hard. Like, at first, when you get on the island, you're like, okay, it's a little cute island. It's not going to be that hard. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Deceptive. Deceptive. Um, let's see. But, but I can use these certain, like, mystical powers you have. Like, where you can create a bomb out of, like, um, out of, like, this magic thing you have in the game. Like, a remote thing. So I do that, and I can do, like, the magnetic force thing on the game. Like, where you can, like, push a big old metal box and, like, use their powers to, like, lift the, bo the box up. I still have those powers, and then I still have the power to stop time. Um, and then, what's the other power I have on there? I think the momentum power. So you can, f no, that's a freezing time one. Mm, I think there's another power I have. Maybe that's it. That might be it. It might be the last power, so I don't know. But, um, yeah, you still have those powers, but you have no inventory at all. So, but I use those, that, like, the little blue, the blue thing, the blue explosion thing. I use that for some of the demons when I first got on the island. So, I'm gonna, you, yeah, you'll see. You'll see. When you watch the, you play the game, you'll see. But it's very symbiotic, you know? These demons, they're coming out the ground. You think something's treasure, you think it's for you. You run to that treasure, and that treasure goes, bang! You know, like a mouse trap. Um. So, not everything that glitters is gold, basically. Mm. December issue says, oftentimes cis straight men get hostile when they're attracted to a man. Yeah. He kept on staring at all my junk. My junk and stuff. So, you out here with all your junk out. You know, you out here, there's kids around here. I'm like, we're in a locker room, sir, a men's locker room. There is nobody in there in my section at all. Zero people were there but him and I. And then the worker came around the corner when they heard it getting um, intense. I'm like, if you want some, just say it. Just say you want some, but I'm going to have to respectfully decline because you are not my type, sir. 
um, you look like a refrigerator. And, you know, unless I want something chilly to drink, unless I want a nice bubbly, I don't have any use for refrigerator-built people like you, sir. You know? But he didn't like that. He didn't like that I felt that way. Or felt no way about him. And so he wanted to come at me and attack me and threaten me to fight me. He was like, we can get this. We can handle this business in the locker room, in the, in the in this room over here, in the shower. We can handle it upstairs. We can handle it outside. I'm like, you're mentioning all these places that we can go handle what, sir? What are you trying to do? What are you trying to get down? I am told you I'm not interested, sir. Um, but he tried to make it about everything else other, other than reality. Nobody else has bothered me. I do the same thing every single day. I go, use my sauna, use the sauna, use the steam room, use the jacuzzi, take a shower, change my clothes, go home, put my oil on, you know, put my oil on, go and go home. Never had an issue with anybody. But this person, you know, I'm telling y'all, it's like the repression. People be so repressed that they just want to like, attack whoever was free he knew i was free he knew i didn't give a dang about him he knew that i was just like so dismissive about what he was saying and he got mad his ego got better madder you don't know who i am you don't know who i am i said i don't give a f who you are i literally said that i said get that f out of my face and he said i'm not in your face i'm not in i was like leave me alone sir like what are you doing what is this he, see he called security i was so calm the more calm that i was the more upset he got and he's still talking mess to me and calling me all kind of things. And I said, F you. F you. Go F yourself. And then he got even more mad. And then he called me all kind of terrible things I could never see on here. But I, just, I called the sheriff's office. <laughs> you can call me those names, sir. But guess who I'm calling? The sheriff's office. And I did. And they came and they talked to him. And I filed, and I got a police report. So we'll see what's going to happen. But I think, I've thought about it. I'm like, this really was a situation. He could have taught us. He could have really attacked me if he, if nobody, like, the security didn't come. You know, like, I deserve some money. I deserve a settlement for my pain and suffering for for everything. Like, I want him to lose his job. Like I said, I think that him and his kids, he said he has some kids, too. I think they would look so cute on the corner holding signs. I think they would look adorable. It would be a great life lesson for him and his kids. To not let this happen again. You know. So. Mm, I never asked for this. I didn't ask for it. December issue says. Um, but you're Jesus. And turn water into wine. You will get it. <laughs> I had to turn all of the of the water on that island to wine, so that I can put all the the demons into the wine and have them be all drunk and stuff, and then I can win the game. Especially because there's one huge, giant, like um, a giant. It's literally a giant, <laughs> a huge giant, um, and it's demonic. And he's sleeping in the game. He's like in this valley area, just passed out sleeping. But if you wake him up in that game, he comes at you with all the vengeance. And I don't have any weapons in the game. So I have to like, how am I going to fend for myself? Like, I need to figure out how to beat that one. I think I'm going to throw some of my like those blue things I told you guys about that I can like detonate or whatever in the game. I keep saying in the game because I have to be very clear. So everybody think I'm talking about a real thing right now. I'm talking about a video game on Nintendo Switch <laughs> called Zelda. So I have to be very careful what, 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 what words I use to describe what I'm doing in the game. Because people be tripping. So I ain't trying to play with y'all. Um, but yeah, like... <sighs> that's a huge giant. It's like a hundred times bigger than my character. Oh my god, 8 Kraken. Thank you, 8 Kraken, for the rose. I appreciate the rose. You sent me a, a rose. Another rose, too. Ooh, yes. Gracie, gracie. Um, That was very sweet of you. Y'all. Y'all, y'all, y'all. It's just... 
it's fun though to be to be gaming to be gaming again is really fun really enjoying it i do think i want to start adding some more segments to my show like i want to do a segment where like when i'm on live here where i talk about real estate only and then talk about branding you know i think i should but maybe on maybe on instagram because on here i like to chat in with you guys eight kraken thank you for the pumpkin pumpkin pie thank you thank you thank you but on here i like just chatting with you guys about whatever maybe on instagram i'll go more into depth about the real estate industry right now what's going on in digital branding how to market yourself how to build your branding practices around what you naturally are good at you know what you naturally enjoy love and love doing like i want to talk about those kind of things i have a lot of resources for small businesses and big businesses and medium business every business i have a lot of resources with my company and i want to share that um i could do it on here but like i said like this is like more of my just I don't know, I just chat with you guys. And I mean, especially when I have more subscribers on here chatting, I'd I rather do that. Thank you so much, A-Kraken. A-Kraken, I appreciate all these gifts, but you got to become a subscriber so you can we can talk, you know? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button so we can chat on here. Mm. Or comment. You can comment too. Somebody commented on my post that they wanted to, wanted to discuss... Um, al alcoholism, alcoholism, addiction, basically. Um, but they couldn't because they had to pay for it to talk to me. But I responded to them. I said, what about alcoholism? But they haven't responded yet. So I don't know. But I do want to discuss that on here a bit. Um, just encourage people who are struggling with the spirit of alcoholism. Alcoholism. Um, I My family's life has been touched by that. Many people in my family have. My ex-husband was touched by that spirit of alcoholism. Very dangerous spirit. Um, there's a lot of people out there who really, really struggle with addiction in general, but especially alcohol because it is illegal. And so it makes it harder to deny it. And it's, it's just... I feel like for people who are like addicted to the bottle, the hardest part is the fact that so many social events. Oh yes, cowboy! Thank you, a Kraken. So I had a hat and mustache got sent to me. Thank you for that. Um, but a lot of people who are struggling with the the addiction to the bottle, it's tough for them because any event they go to, it's like circled around that. You go to a club, you gotta be twenty one to get in for what? Because you got cause to drink, you gotta be twenty one. Like, it's, it's, it's based around drinking. Like, it's this whole game of, like, let's go out and pack ourselves into this tiny room. Uh, pretend we're having fun. I pretend we're having fun. Let's drink until we can't remember where we are anymore. Let's misunderstand each other. That's what they do when you're when you're on a substance. You don't even, you don't even know yourself anymore. You black out. You know, it's a harsh situation. So, I feel like one of the things is for people who are stuck to are stuck on the bottle, is to think of that bottle as something illegal. Yeah, it's illegal because legally it is legal, but there's other substances a lot of people don't do because they're illegal substances. Um, I think we should pretend in our head that this is illegal too, like alcohol and things like that. Like, if you really imagine that's illegal, will you still use it as often? Like, because it really should be illegal. I'm not saying it just like, oh, let's use your imagination. Like, no, it really should be. Like, it's just as harmful as everything else that is on the substance list. Um, it's a very harmful compound. So if we saw it that way and didn't believe the propaganda, 
would we still consume it as often or would our moral compass block us from drink from using it so often like what if what if what if you know out here if you have some of a certain flower that people smoke freely out in LA especially Los Angeles um if you have a certain flower that Mary loves to tote <laughs> um you go to jail you will they will take you right to jail they will arrest you they say ooh you smell like you smell like something something flowery we're gonna go take you to jail now you know like it's like that from that encourages people to not partake of the devil's flower <laughs> um and in my opinion that flower is less harmful than alcohol as an avid user myself out there when it was where it was legal i definitely use it every day so it's way less harmful than something like you know a drink even wine like the liver does not like these things like they're illegal so we think it's okay we think it's oh, a little bit's okay i'll go down to the liquor store and grab some of that grab some snacks um no it's not okay you know it's really hurting your liver so that's what, i'm just saying this because somebody asked me about this on, on my comments but yeah i just want you guys to look at it that way not to judge yourself just to think internally if this was something illegal would you still partake as often Maybe you would. Maybe you said, like, I don't care what's illegal or not legal. I want this bottle no matter what it costs. I don't care if I end up in jail for it. Some people some people may think that way. I don't know. That's not me. If it's illegal, I'm not touching it. It's illegal and I still don't touch I don't touch alcohol at all. I haven't had alcohol in since I was in New York, which has been a year ago, and the only reason I drank it there was because I was doing a video about one of my promote my one of my partners that I have called Wine Library with Gary V. And I was trying to drink a cup of wine so that people knew about the, the history of this particular wine in Columbus Circle it was a very rich area of New York I was trying to just show you guys what it tastes like and honestly it tastes disgusting not because not because of the people but just because wine is wine is very mid wine is very very mid um Holly Joe says howdy partner what's up Holly Joe how you doing Holly Joe she put some um cowboy hat emojis in there thank you so much holly are you enjoying the subscriber only chat because i am so tired of the trolls um i'm sure over time we'll get more subscribers and we'll have more conversation going on but for now i don't care if there's only one two people three i don't care i'm thankful to not have to deal with those trolls anymore so that's all i'll say for alcoholism for now it's because somebody literally messaged that to me on my comments and they were he was kind of cute i'm not gonna lie he was not kind of cute he was very cute um i saw his, his instagram sorry tiktok and i was like "Ooh, he's hot so i followed him um but anyways i just thought his question was a good question or his like inquiry about speaking about that it's, it's a super important subject alcohol has torn families apart torn minds apart has stunted the growth of your people's dreams and passions and goals it's just it's been a a nuisance to so many so i wanted to discuss that real quick so i did there you go that's the, that's the discussion <laughs> um holly joe says i am i am yes you are i'm so glad you're happy with this because i'm loving it loving 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 it um i'm just putting on christmas decorations putting up christmas directions and listening to to you chat Oh, Holly Joe, you're so kind. Oh my goodness, this, what a great Christmas. Christmas is going to be, I think it's going to be a beautiful Christmas this year. Like, I mean, I know it's like a lot of crazy stuff, stuff going on in the world, but I think when things are darker in the world, that's even more of a time for people to get more jolly, put more lights up, put some Christmas music on, throw that, um, throw that Mariah Carey on. All you want for Christmas is some peace. <laughs> I just want peace, y'all. That's all I want for Christmas. Like my sister asked me earlier, she was like, "What do you want for Christmas this year?" Like I'm, I don't usually get things for Christmas. I just live my life. Um, I don't. I mean, I don't know. I don't know when the last time I really got something. That, I don't know. Maybe, maybe um, 
yeah, I don't know if I get things for Christmas anymore. Like, when you're a kid, you do. But, anyway, I just, I'm just so happy with my life right now. I love the simplicity, the, the, the routineness of waking up, working a little bit on my computer, um, hanging out with my nephew, going out to nature, going to the gym, maybe going shopping, depends on the day. Like, I love the routine. I love not leaving a mile away from my house. Like, it feels great. Like, I don't need anything. I buy anything I need, I buy from Amazon. <laughs> and by the way, y'all can check my Amazon store out, rockmercury.com. Click on Amazon on the menu. You got it. It's there. Got lots of stuff on there for y'all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I need to organize that store some more, but I have added the Slay Shea section. Slay Shea Butter for all your, your Shea Butter needs. Um, I did put that on there. So you do have that available for you so yeah um if you guys want to make your own shea butter at home um, but yeah i'm just so happy i like, like what do i need like i mean theoretically it'd be nice to have a playstation 5 it would be nice to have that but do i need it no i'm still playing nintendo switch i still haven't finished zelda yet i love playing zelda like i don't even like the only thing I would play on PlayStation is Grand Theft Auto, which is a great game. But that's really all I would play on there. I hate to say that's all I would play because Grand Theft Auto is a huge game and it takes forever to win. Um, and it's, but yeah, I just I'm good. I'm very happy. And plus, to get a PlayStation PlayStation Five, you have to be on the waiting list. But anyway, I'm just happy for the jolliness. I'm happy for the for the lights. I'm excited for. Um, I don't know if they do caroling anymore, but I kind of don't want to hear any caroling. They might do it in this area. This is like a rich area over here. They may have some carolers come by. I don't know. There is an event happening on the, the December 3rd. There's like a, a holiday event. I might go to that. Who are these people walking? Oh, so sweet. I love the people walking out here. It's just all families walking around. All having a good time. I've been getting messages from some of my supporters saying, hey, I see you walking in your neighborhood. Who I see you, hey, I seen you at the grocery store. I seen you this. I'm like, that's so creepy to me sometimes. Like, say hi to me or something in person. Um, Thank you, hand hearts. Thank you. The only reason it's creepy to me is because these people are saying it from a number I don't know or from a, a Instagram, a private Instagram profile with a photo that's not them. Like, it's like a cartoon or a meme or something. So it's like creepy. It's like, why do you, like, who are you? Who are these people? Saying that they see me, I see you here and I see you there. I'm like, okay. Mm. Well, whatever. When you're a public person, you can't really ask for privacy that much. Like, I can't really ask for that. It just is what it is at this point. Mm. Mm -hmm. Harley Joe says, I keep telling you, you need me to come and be your bodyguard, <laughs> man. <laughs> Harley Joe, you're more famous than I am. What you gonna look like being my bodyguard? You're way more famous than, than me. So I don't know what you're talking about, Harley Joe. <laughs> Um, you mean I need to be your bodyguard? I don't know if I'll be. A, I don't know if I'll be a good bodyguard though. I'll be like security. Call, I'll be calling the police. Like, mm -mm. sheriff office, come here immediately. That's all. I, I can be neighborhood watch. I can't be no bodyguard. <laughs> but you're way more famous than me. December issue says the creepy neighbors right now, like. Melting, they they over there melting. It's oh my gosh, she's like creeping. <laughs> the creepy neighbors. <laughs> it's just weird to me. It's not like it's weird because they don't they don't show their face and they don't come up to me in person. That'd be different. Then I'd be like, okay, nice to meet you. This is like a picture, I guess. Um, that's different. But I don't know, y'all. I don't know. But the way that situation happened at the gym, 
with that person attacking me, I'm like, I'm scared to go around anybody. I just want to live my life and just make content online. Like Hannah Montana, I want to be best of both worlds. Sometimes I really think that way. I'd be like, I'm online right now. I just come on live and I have videos everywhere on the internet. Um, but I keep thinking that it stays on the internet in my head. You know, no matter how many people come up to me in person, which a lot of people do come up to me like, oh my God, Rockers and Mercury and Rock and Mercury, it's hard. People, some people do, they really come up to me. Um, but I still, in my head, feel like, like everything I do stays online somehow. Like it just, it just lives online and then it doesn't affect my real world. Like I, like that's how I imagine it to be, but that's not reality. <laughs> Like, people, like, if something's going on online, that's, that's still real life. And they still know who you are. Especially me. Look at me. Who who else looks like me? Who else has a beard this big? Who else has so much hair with some blonde highlights like me? Who could even get these highlights like me? Like, they wish they could get these highlights. <laughs> um, I keep saying that. But I, ne I would never dye my hair again. I've already told y'all that. I'm never dying it again. I'm thankful my hair didn't fall out. It is so fried. My ends are so fried, you guys. Oh, my God. But it's still giving curl. It's still giving curl. But it's still, like, fried, I feel. Like, well, that was a good... That's a good curl. That's not a good example. It's giving. That's, that's a good curl right there. But I don't know. I just feel like the blonde parts aren't as healthy as they could be. <laughs> so, um, I'm fine with it. But I just want to do it again. I want to do it again. And that was a while ago. I didn't... I did this one and my hair was short. So I have I was like all blonde at that point. It was fun, but never never again. Never never again. Also I thought about it, I'm like, what if that hair dye, what if like like bleaching my hair and doing all that is like what if it kills some of my hair follicles? Like what if it burns my hair follicles? Like what if that's why my hair is kind of like thinning on the top so you see the thinning area? Like what if that's the reason? I don't know. But I ain't, I ain't going to try it again. I'm just going to let it be natural. Hopefully, I'll heal. Hopefully, my hair will come back one day. I don't know. We have 2.7 thousand likes. Thank you guys so much. Make sure you guys click, click, click. Tap the screen. Tap, 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 tap the screen, please. Follow. Follow me and subscribe. Thank you. Or just follow whatever you want to do. Holly Joe says, we could fight them off together. Fight them off together. <laughs> the whole point of security is to not have to fight, Holly. <laughs> Holly, we're going we to be out there fighting these haters, <laughs> these trolls. <laughs> mm -mm. Well, I did decide that I will be hiring a security guard. Even though I'm mostly at home. <laughs> um, even though I'm mostly at home. I'm going to have my security guard parked outside, watching my house, and watching my neighborhood. I have a very small little neighborhood of houses of all, like, nice houses right over here. Like, 13 houses in this one region. And so I figured if I hire a security guard, I want a full-time security team. I think I want to get, like, four people, four guards that it can like split the time up so nobody's too stressed like two full-time and then two like filler in like fill in part-time kind of people um as backup because i want security in them all day and all night um and i want them to work the time that they like to work like some people are night owls so i want to get a security guard who loves being up at night who will not get tired and as a security guard who likes to go to sleep at night <laughs> so that they're good in the daytime. Then I'll have like two other ones who are just kind of like a mixture. They're good. To, they're, they'll fill in whatever they can fill in. Um, and then I'm going to have them watch the neighborhood as well. Because that's going to keep me safer. But also my neighbors would like that. They would like to have like my security guard's numbers. So that if something goes down, they can call my security team. And we can at least support them in some way. You know, just and then it, it's around here while I'm here, you know. But if I'm gone somewhere, that's different. Like, if I'm out and about, which is rare, I don't really go out that much anymore. Thankfully, I love being home, it's so great. Or if I'm at the gym or something, my security guard will obviously be there with me, working out with me. Um, 
I need my security guard with me at all times. Um, but yeah, it's going to be like a neighborhood watch kind of situation. That way they're still serving. Because then I won't feel bad about paying them all day. Because there's like they're still supporting, making sure everything's good. I would say they can do some gardening work, but we already have a whole gardening team at the house. So I don't need any gardening work. And I have a whole gardening team in the house in LA too. So yeah, they'll just be making sure things are good with the neighbors and make it, it's just seeing if anything sketchy is going on. But to be honest, like there's like nothing really happens over here. It's like super nice. It's a very like nice, nice area. Like it's, it's just calmness. I don't, I don't see any drama happen over here. Very opposite of my area in Los Angeles where things were going down every single day, things were going down. And I don't need that stress in my life anymore. I don't need it. It was too much for me. And I'm just so happy to be in a like of a peaceful environment. I deserve this. Like, I can't do the stress anymore. I'm just I'm I'm starting to consider surrendering that house out there. Like or or shifting it or renting it out or something. Cause I'm kind of just like, do I really even want to deal with it anymore? Like, I don't want to go over there to that area. Like I'm I'm living such a luxurious life out here. It's like, what am I doing? Like, what am I? What is that for? Like, do I really want to go back to LA? No. Um. I'm still thinking about it, cause there is a way I can run my business still out of there. Right? But it's just, it's a big house too out there. Anyway, I gotta figure it out. I'm still thinking about that, but I do know I want to get that security guard first because you, you have to secure your life. People are crazy out here. You need to be safe um, and they're getting more and more desperate. So I think, let me see how much that will cost. Let's see, full-time security costs because I have one way I can make, I can lower the price, but I'm wondering how much it costs. Just like market value. How much is, how much is 20... Four seven security. Man guard. Um, usually twenty four hour surveillance is split into eight hour shifts, and are usually shared by three security guards. So I need three people, not I said four, but I think four is still good, just in case if a backup person. Um. So how much does a bodyguard cost to protect full time? Well, you could be paying around a thousand dollars to fifteen hundred dollars a day for full time security personnel. Ooh, a thousand to fifteen hundred a day. Um, that makes it like around like over thirty thousand dollars a month. Well, maybe way over thirty thousand dollars a month, possibly. Maybe like near 40, 40, 50,000 a month. Um, I wonder if I could write that off as like an expense. I don't talk to my accountant. Mm. Mm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Because one way I thought about this is if my security team is supporting me in making content, that kind of like videography and stuff a little bit, then it kind of pays itself off. Like I don't need them to do a whole bunch of stuff. I need I need to make videos. While I'm out. Because it can be security and do videos for me too. Like, like I don't want to put my security in harm's way. So I want to like have smart security guards who react in like a way that's not dangerous, you know. Or it doesn't escalate the situation. Holly Joe said, you do deserve it and I'm happy you're there with your sister. Thank you so much, Holly Joe. Thank you. Sometimes when you're in a dangerous situation for a long time, you start feeling like it's normal. And I'm just thankful that I'm in a peaceful space. My family, I'm very happy with, and it's a beautiful thing. But I do want the security even out here. But like I said, because they'll be doing content with me as well, they don't have to be in the content, but they can be filming me for certain, certain parts of content. 
um, that makes me money. So I kind of can, I can like write it off in a way. There's a way, there's a way, there's something there, something there. Because even if it's 30000 a month, if I'm, if I'm making a ton of money off the content I'm producing, and the, my brand partnerships, I might be able to finagle that a bit. I might be able to finagle that, because that's a lot of money per month, or per day, a thousand every day is, not, is a lot of money. Imagine what I could do with that at Goodwill. They can, go, they can go to Goodwill with me, my security guard. I want like a really cool security guards. They don't talk too much. Because I talk too much already. So I don't, I, I can't have a security guard that talks too much to you. I want them to just be very observant, looking around. Very masculine too. You know, and hot. They should be hot too. They should be hot. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. This would be good. I'm going to figure this out. I'm going to figure this out because, like, if they were really helping me with content, too, because it's not like somebody's after me all the time. Like, yeah, I have some people who try to come for me, but, like, it's not like I'm always getting attacked. So, it would be a lot of time to do content with them. And, yeah, I want to pay them really well so that they really want to protect me. <laughs> I want to pay them really, really good and give them all kind of benefits and get free stuff from like my different sponsorships and stuff and send them home with like gifts all the time. Um, I want them to like be so happy to come to work with Rock Mercury. Like they'd be like, they'd, I want them to like tell their friends like, yeah, Rock Mercury Rock. Actually, I don't want them to tell their friends anything. They need to be like zip zip, like keep everything confidential. Um, but they need to say they love going to work. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I think that'd be really cool. I'll get them a gym membership too. I get all three of them a gym membership so they can go to the gym with me one at a time, of course. Um, that'd be fun. Maybe then, I'd, maybe then I won't need to get married anymore because then I'll have that companionship of my of my security guards. I don't need them to do anything. I don't want to, I don't want anything that kind of way. It's all professional, but just sometimes you want somebody around, you know. So maybe that'd be better than some random husband or some partner or something that's a hot mess, you know, and wouldn't even protect me. It's crazy. My ex wouldn't even protect me. If some if something went down, he would not protect me. I don't think at all. Like, that's not what would happen. It could make it worse. So, I think that's what I want. Manifesting it. Manifesting that. Um, yeah, I'm going to figure that out. I'm going to figure that out. And I want them to be able to be able to travel with me. Even though I don't travel anywhere anymore. But if I'm driving somewhere far. They got to be good drivers. They could drop me off. I like driving though too. I want them to have a. I want them to have like electric Hummers. I saw the new electric Hummer you guys. <laughs> I saw the new electric Hummer. I want it so badly. I want it so badly. December issue says you need a Julius, Beyonce's bodyguard. Oh, you don't even have to say Beyonce's bodyguard. I already know who Julius is. If I had me a Julius, let me Google him one more time. I've seen him before, but I just want to see his picture again because he is, whew, he is so hot. Hold on, hold on. Two, mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> his name literally literally comes up that's how famous he is because of Beyonce I cannot oh my goodness Julius Hunty Hunty yeah he looked very strong oh my god 
Julius. Yeah, Mimi a Julius. He is so hot to me. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, there's that. <laughs> there is that part. Um, yeah, I need I need a few Juliuses. I need some that want to stay with me for long term. Who love security detail work. Um, maybe even maybe they're ex like they're ex FBI or ex CIA. I don't care. If I'm already being followed by federal agents, then why do I care if I have a, if I have a security guard who's already part of that team? I don't care. Who cares? As long as they keep me safe. I want them to have that kind of like level of training and stuff. So I ain't trying to play with these people. Things are going to get crazier and crazier. People are getting more and more desperate. Look at the streets of LA. You can't even go sit in Koreatown without, in your Rolls Royce, without getting shot. And your Rolex stolen from you. Shout out to the rapper who got who got robbed in Koreatown. Koreatown is I can't. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's not right. It's not right. So yeah, I need three. I want them to be long term people. I want them to be, be, be with me for like 20 years or so, or longer. I'll probably upgrade them in my, in my company, so. Like, the longer they stay, I want people to be to feel, like, promoted. I want to promote people, and I want to lead. No, like nobody wants to be stagnant and stay in the same career forever, so. I'll probably promote them every year, like, give them a little promotion or something. Every few years. I don't know how it works. We'll see. When it comes to security. But yeah, they're going to be... They're going to have a good life. If they if they work for me, because like my area is so calm that there's going to be no drama for them. They probably won't have any incidents at all. Like, they, they're just... They'll just be chilling. Um, and then if some crazy fan or some crazy person comes, they can alert the police. <laughs> Block, block our situation now. Warn me. Make sure I'm safe. Um, there's a gated section here too, so I'm thinking about buying another house over there. I mean, this area is super safe. I love this. I love where I'm at right now. But I think if I keep going through this public realm of work, oh, if I keep on like keep going down this road, then I think a gated section might be the best for my situation. We'll see. But this area has three different gated sections in it. But I'm not in one of them. I'm in a very nice, nice section, though. And the houses are just as big as the gated section I'm in right now. But it's not like... It's not gated. And part of me is thankful it's not gated because it's easier to get our mail. It's easier for DoorDash to come. <laughs> it's, so, it's like there's a lot of things. There's a lot of perks to not being a part of the gated side. And also there's like some... Like some of the gates don't work properly sometimes because it's electronics. Anytime you have electronics, they're not going to always work the best. So, I'm happy where I'm at. I'm also just like thinking safety-wise. So, yeah. But I wouldn't send my security for for errands and stuff. I'm like, oh, go get this. You go do, go do this. Do this errand. Do that errand. No, I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get another like an in person assistant for that. I want an in person assistant, like an executive assistant. They can do that part. Security has to stay by me at all times. Hundred percent time secure. Cause they really are trying to take people out out of here. It's a dangerous world. It's dangerous. Um, I'm not trying to go down like that in any way. So, mm. taco done. Taco party over. Thank y'all for joining today. I really appreciate it. We got to 5.1 thousand likes. I appreciate all the love and support.
please consider um, consider subscribing. Um, if not, it's all good. You can comment on my page. I'll respond to you. But subscribing is best if you want to chat on the live. Um, what else? Oh, well, the tacos are amazing. Those tacos were on point. I'm gonna go have myself some dessert. <laughs> Magic cookie bars, chocolate dessert, real quick. A little bit, little bite, little bite. And I'm done. I'm like, I'm gonna go on live on the um, play Zelda a bit too. So tune into my Twitch account, Rock Mercury on Twitch. I'll be playing Zelda Breath of the Wild, Breath of the Wild. So if you want to watch that, feel free to tune in. Hmm, that was great. Everything was great. All happy. All joy. Happy, happy joy joy. Alright. Until next time, you guys, rock on Mercuryans. Go to rockmercury.com for all things Rock Mercury. And I will see you guys on the next live. Bye. Later on today, I guess. See you later.